Hey everybody, it is Kathleen and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a magical, fantastic day. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to, well actually, before we get into what this video is about, I just wanted to say something very quick. Um, up until yesterday, I have been working at my new job um, amidst the COVID-19 quarantine, self-isolation pandemic and got the notification yesterday that I am going to be um, not working and we're going to be closing my job until April 5th. So now I'm right along with you if you're also in quarantine, self-isolation. I myself, even when I was working, would come straight home not go out um, as much as I could and was trying to self-isolate so we can slow the spread of this crazy virus. But I wanna go ahead and put this in here before I get into the video is that if you can, please stay home at this time. This isn't a vacation, don't go to the beach, don't go out partying to the bars. This is to help other people. Even if you may not be in the demographic that could contract this virus, you can still spread it to the people who can. So please stay inside. I know that two weeks seems like a long time to stay inside, but if we follow the directions of our, of our respective governments and stay inside and help slow the spread, the sooner we can get back to making everything as normal as it was before. So please do that. But also I wanted to give a huge thank you to all those who are still working, um, those in the medical field, those in retail at grocery stores and in pharmacies, those are truckers who are supplying um, stuff that keeps flying off the shelf. And if, I didn't, if I'm not naming everybody, I'm sorry, but thank you so much to those who are still putting themselves at risk of contracting the virus in order to keep us moving as a society. That's all I wanted to put out there before we get into this video. Probably was a very long, and this is a very long intro, but it just seems very important to spread the message of staying at home if you can, but also giving a thank you to those who can't stay home. So, yeah, anyway, like, like I was about to say, in this video, we are going to go over the 10 top things to do in quarantine, or 10 top Harry Potter things to do in quarantine, so to pass the time so we all don't go insane and get cabin fever. So I'm gonna stop talking finally, and let's get straight into the video. <laughs> So the first Harry Potter thing to do while we are in quarantine and self-isolating is of course to read the books. Now, if you have never read the books before but have been a fan through the movies or through Cursed Child, <laughs> but you haven't read the books yet and you've always wanted to, well now you've got some time on your hands, so get reading these books. Or if you're like me and have read them a hundred times, reread the books because you you always get something new out of the books that you didn't get before. I don't know, that's what's so great about these books. Um, you can also read the Fantastic Beasts screenplays or um, the bonus books like Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the actual book, Tales of Beale the Bard. There's so many things that you can read and consume, but if you don't have time to read um, and it's, you just, you don't have the attention span, um, which, no, no shame, my attention span is very little, but if you don't have the attention span to sit down and read through a physical book, you can also do audiobooks. No, this isn't going to be a plug for Audible. I am not um, important enough to be a Audible, what do they call them, um, affiliate, but um, you can, if you have Audible, you can listen to those books, or if you can't afford Audible, like the everyday person, like myself, um, there are options on YouTube. Um, there are some videos of audiobooks on YouTube, and I'll link a couple in the description box. Um, so yeah, long uh, explanation, but yes, one of the things you can do is read the Harry Potter books because there's seven of them and more Harry Potter readable content to keep you from going crazy. 
The number two Harry Potter thing that you can do in quarantine self-isolation is have a movie marathon. I mean, eight, there's eight, eight Harry Potter movies and two Fantastic Beasts series movies. So that's lots of hours of entertainment. You can marathon them all in one sitting. Well, probably had to spread out a couple of days, but you can watch the Harry Potter movies, pop some popcorn, make some butter beer, make a big fun thing out of it, and just relive the magic that is the Harry Potter movies and the magic that is Richard Harris as Dumbledore. I love Michael Gamden, but we can all agree that Richard Harris is Dumbledore. He is the Dumbledore. All right, on to the next one. The number three Harry Potter thing to do in quarantine slash self-isolation is break out your video game console and controller and one of your favorite Harry Potter games and pl play some Harry Potter games and not just go through levels but complete the game. You've got time. Um, so yeah, this is the old Harry Potter Xbox game, uh, Chamber of Secrets. I still have yet to play it because I'm still trying to find my Xbox 360 um, and my moving boxes. I know it's been almost a year since I moved, but but yeah, we, I have this. You can also do the Lego Lego Harry Potter games and the other ones. Um, or uh, if you've seen on my channel, I have been a long time since I played it. But there are websites that are emulators. I think that's the right word where you can play super old school Harry Potter games. So Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone slash Lobster Stone for like the Game Boy Color, um, Game Boy Advance, whatever. They have that on there, so I'll leave a link to that down below so you can get your Harry Potter video gaming on. Number four Harry Potter thing to do in quarantine slash self-isolation is to get your gaming on um, not the non-video game way. So if you're in isolation with your family or with apartment mates or whatever who are also at home from work, this is a great time to um, really let your Harry Potter nerd out and play all sorts of games. You can, well, these are just regular playing cards, but they're Harry Potter style, so you can play some Texas Hold'em or Family Friendly Crazy Eights or Go Fish. You can spruce up your Harry Potter knowledge and play Trivial Pursuit or oh, Harry Potter Seen It. Do people even play Seen It anymore? I don't know. So you can you can play Harry Potter Trivia. Or you can play Harry Potter Uno. Still has a plastic on it because I don't really have anyone to play it with at home. But you have Harry Potter Uno that has a special rule, so it makes it um, special to Harry Potter. So yeah, there's so many different board games you can play. There's card games. Um, like you know, there's some old old school card games um, that you can play back in the day um, that people might still have the cards for. So there's plenty of things to do on the board game front. The number five Harry Potter thing to do in quarantine self-isolation is Harry Potter puzzles. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a huge fan of puzzles. I just I, I love the ones with a lot of pieces. It, it's kind of therapeutic in a way just to sit down and do a puzzle. You can even play a Harry Potter audiobook while you do it, so double Harry Potter. Yeah, these are great. They're fun to do with kids. Um, I wouldn't know because I don't have kids. But I imagine it'd be fun to do with kids or have your kids um, do a Harry Potter puzzle while you're on a conference call if you're working from home right now. So yeah, Harry Potter puzzles are a win all around. So we're halfway through the top 10 Harry Potter things to do in self-isolation slash quarantine. So if you're enjoying this video and enjoy Harry Potter content, Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and add a little more Lumos to your day. That's all I wanted to say um, as we're at the halfway point. So let's get on with the next five things. The number six thing, Harry Potter thing to do in quarantine self-isolation is to grab your coloring pencils, markers, crayons, and your favorite Harry Potter coloring book and do some coloring. You know, coloring sheets are so therapeutic they're very I really enjoy them I'm someone who is a very anxious I'm someone who's a very anxious person and just taking the time to color really helps calm my nerves and 
This is a very stressful, anxiety-inducing time it, indeed, especially if you're immunocompromised or you know someone who is. It can be very stressful, so why not go to the Wizarding World via coloring page and do some coloring? Let's see, I colored a few in here. I have Hermione, but what I love about these is that they have so many different things to color. And if you don't have this book or any of the other Harry Potter coloring books, um, but you want to color, you, you can totally go on Google and find a Harry Potter coloring sheet and print it off, especially if you have lots of kids, so you can just get lots of those, and that's something else you can have them doing as you're doing your at-home work. So, yeah, I, let's do some coloring. So the number seven Harry Potter thing to do while you're self-isolating, quarantining yourself, is some Harry Potter DIY projects. DIY projects are so much fun. I've seen so many people on Facebook doing home renovation projects because I got the time now. So why not do some Harry Potter DIY projects? There's so many things you can do. I've made not one, not two, but three Harry Potter DIY videos that I'll be linking down below. Um, yeah, so you can DIY your own wand. Um, this is one that I have a video for. You can DIY your own flying key. I also have a video of that. Don't have a video of this one, but you can even um, brush up your art skills and make yourself a nice Harry Potter wall art. I think this one's super pretty. I did this one a few years ago. So yeah, there's so many different Harry Potter DIY projects you can do. You can literally just type on Pinterest, Harry Potter craft for adults or kids or both, and you're gonna have yourself lots of stuff to do that you could probably do with stuff around the house. So yeah, let's get witchcrafting. That's not my tag, but I think it's, I thought it was appropriate. So the number eight Harry Potter thing to do while quarantine, self-isolating, is this is more for the kids. Um, if you are a parent who has suddenly found themselves homeschooling their kids to help slow the spread of COVID-19, then you might be feeling a little overwhelmed with what to do other than the curriculum they have. You know, staying on curriculum is so important, but this is a really fun time to be able to give your kids other learning experiences they may not necessarily get in the classroom. So what better way to teach them and give them a fun school experience than have them attend Hogwarts Homeschool with Witchcraft and Wizardry. Now, if you go on Pinterest, I haven't done any of these myself. I was thinking about doing a video doing that, so let me know down below if you would like to see this video. But I wanted to try out some of the Harry Potter STEM activities that they have for kids on Pinterest and see how fun and magical they are. I mean, I'm a 26 year old lady, so a little past that age of uh, STEM activities for kids, but it could be fun for adults. So yeah, just go on Pinterest. They have STEM activities with, like potions, astrology, herbology, like all sorts of fun things that are Harry Potter themed. So you could even be all cute and creative and um, create a little Hogwarts letter for your kids and um, tell them they've, be, they've been accepted for the Hogwarts homeschool program. You know, it would make this really fun for them because this is probably a really stressful time for your kids. Um, not being able to be with their friends and um, not really being able to have their normal routine. So make this a fun time for them as well. The number nine Harry Potter thing to do in quarantine self-isolation is to try some Harry Potter recipes. Now, I've uploaded a video, I know, another uh, plug for my channel. I've uploaded a video showing off my favorite butterbeer recipe, but there's so many other Harry Potter recipes out there. You can make cauldron cakes. You could even get snazzy and make your entire Hogwarts feast for your Hogwarts homeschool program for your kids or for yourself. So I'm gonna link a couple of fun Harry Potter recipes in my description box. Um, a lot of the links will, that I've, or things that I've mentioned in this video will be down there. So check down there, have fun cooking, and um, make yourself something delicious um, because it's a lot healthier to cook at home than it is to go out um, to a restaurant and potentially breathe in the virus. We're at the last one. So the number, oh, the number, <laughs> so the number 10 Harry Potter thing to do um, during quarantine and self-isolation is to binge watch all your favorite Harry Potter YouTubers and I mean I'm not going to 
um, be nar narcissistic and think I'm everyone's favorite YouTube creator for Harry Potter content because let's be real I'm not but if you do enjoy my content then yeah binge watch some of my content my personal favorite Harry Potter YouTubers I love Cherry Wallace I love Tessa Netting I love Vagard I love the Bakey there's so many more I'm probably forgetting I would link them but if you watch if you found my video you're probably already subscribed to them but if not go subscribe to their channels um, because they make really, really fun Harry Potter content. So yeah, support your Harry favorite Harry Potter YouTubers at this time and binge watch all their videos because really, you've got a lot of time over the next couple of weeks or more depending on how um, fast we can get back to our normal society. So yeah, that's all 10. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching my brand new video and for hanging out with me today hope that you're staying safe and you are staying well during this crazy pandemic time um, please again like I said at the beginning of the video if you can stay home but if you can't stay home thank you for um, continuing to keep us safe or um, well if you're if you, if you can't get home from work so thank you for what you do now, if you um, enjoy this video, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below what kind of Harry Potter things you'll be doing while you are self-isolating and quarantine. So, thank you so much for always uh, bringing Lumos to my life and let's continue to live Lumos every day. Bye!